digital marketing here and click enter then it will show me the result of that keyword which I typed here so these are the results of the keyword which I typed here so this is the work of a search engine so search engine can be of various types like Google Yahoo Bing etc so now let's talk about portals so portals are generally of two type the first one is internal portal and the second one is external portal I think that the class is getting a bit boring but please don't worry you must learn from basic things so that's why I start I am starting from the basic these basic things so internal and external portal so first let's talk about internal portal now many business have a company portal which is a website designed to provide communication and services to employees for example it may include a calendar of events such as meetings product releases and other important dates let's take an example I love giving examples because students understand more by examples because when I used to learn so I always learn from examples I always said why teacher I didn't understand what you told so I want you to give me examples so okay so moving on to the topic now I am giving you an example for example you are working in uh, a company like let's say let's take this for example you are working in marketer.com and marketer.com has a portal for all its employees means if you log on to marketer.com I am giving an example this is not real let's take an example that you are working in marketer.com and they have a domain for sorry they have a portal for all those people who work here so you can log into their portal you will be given a username and a password and you will log into that portal and then you can talk to those employees who are in marketer.com or you can talk to your seniors sorry or your boss or anyone uh, but who is working in marketer.com so that is known as an internal portal so that you can discuss with them all those problems which you are facing and related and you can uh, ask them real, uh, related things or related queries about the job or about the company so now let's talk about external portal so an external portal is a website designed to be a starting point on the web it consolidates links to different subjects and related articles so that it simplify is the web browsing process like Yahoo for example it is a well-known portal that includes categories such as news sports finance shopping movies politics tech etc you can see here if I type here Yahoo and then I click here then you will see various new sports uh, and finance also so let me show you oh my god my computer is a bit slow sorry for that so if I click on here Yahoo mm, sorry 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 guys my computer is a bit slow oh no It is taking time to load okay so see you can see here cricket news finance lifestyle movies celebrity travel more and in the more section there are many other things so this is what this so this is what we call a external portal and internal portal may be your company or where you work that place must have a website means for example I am working in a school or for example you are teaching in a school so that school might have a website of it and that website in that website you might be given a username and a password so that you can log in and contact with all your, all your members of that school or all the teachers in that school so that is an internal portal in which you communicate with the fellow members of that community so that's all for today's and that's all for today and meet you in the next video in which we will discuss about what is SU and why do you need it. Thank you guys.